heading to PA, do some scouting, camping, relaxing, have some good food and some beers around a campfire. Almost all packed up and ready to go. What's up boys? It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Lee and I are back on our annual trip down to PA to do some scouting for deer, camp for a couple of days, have some good food and have some beers. Uh, we got started today about 9.30 in the morning Got a couple of hikes we're doing today. And as we got on the first back road, saw a nice eight point in velvet, which was pretty cool. And uh, now we're off to do our first hike and check out some new property that we've been on a couple of times, uh, but we're gonna get in there and pick it apart again and get a couple trail cameras out and um, start the whole weekend. So this year let's not burn our boots. <laughs> What do you think? Yep, mine are still burned from last year on the campfire. Third year Lee and I doing this trip. We're just getting started here. About 10 o'clock on the first morning, We're coming in to check an area around a clear cut that we want to put an SD card camera in, and that we want to find a couple of tree stand locations that we can come back and hunt during archery season, and then also come back and hunt during gun season. Maybe right here and tilt it down. Yep. Would you see if you could find a decent size, either stone or branch that I can put behind this? How big do you think you need? At least two inches. Might be able to find a stone. That's kind of what I was looking for. Roundish one or squarish one. This one's kind of at an angle. Slide in oh, as I far think that as you want. Perfect. That well, actually works out pretty good. I'm right here. I'm just past the trail. Yeah, I can see the sunlight even behind you. Okay. I guess we're good then. Don't forget to turn it on. Yeah. You think you got a logging road down there? Down there? Sure as hell hope so. I think you're full of shit. I probably am full of shit. I think that logging road we're gonna be on for about a hundred yards and it's gonna be a steep cliff down and you're gonna roll all the way into the water. That's fine. I roll really well. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, came down from that clear cut and there was a huge crossing here. The nice thing is about four trails all meet and as soon as you get 50 yards up the other side of that creek bank it becomes all hardwoods, becomes thick briars, and uh, maybe 175 yards up is where that clear cut is. So we just marked a spot right here where this trip, where all these trails come across this creek crossing. And now we're gonna work across this little bench and uh, start to head back down to the truck. There's some thick stuff near the trunk. So we're gonna see if we can find if there's any trails that head that direction. Okay, Lee calls the logging road. Not gonna get steep. He's right this time. Good job, Lee. Keep it up. Mark it down. It's funny, that first two years we were doing the public land stuff, I mean, we were trying to find draws and saddles and, you know, leeward side, and we found that there's a lot of people already doing that stuff. So you gotta find those places where people aren't. And, I mean, we definitely found a funnel on the upper corner of that clear cut where it's the only place that there's a shallow slope where they can cross that ravine. Yep. I think that's gonna be killer. Woo. For some reason I'm warm. Yep, the boots are coming off. Boots are coming off and changing the shirt. So Lee and I came back to an area we stopped at last year. We never hunted it last year. Uh, this ag field was all corn. It's actually to our right, right here is private. And then the field itself must be leased to a farmer. It's public. And the hill out in front of us is public. So we left the camera out here last August and we have not gone back to get it. So we're gonna go back and get the camera right now and take a look what's going on in this woods. We just saw a buck and doe feeding in the bean field just prior to this one. So who knows, we may end up coming back here uh, once this fall. 
But we're going to go in and get this camera and then sit around the fire tonight. We'll see what we got. Must be my lucky day. First key. Nice. SD card there? Yep. Cobwebs? And water. And water, huh? Yeah. Well, it's been sitting there a year. Who knows? I know. Lee and I found three separate spots in which trails, heavy trails, like this one right here that crosses the creek in front of us, are coming down out of thick, thick cover. And out behind us, these deer are moving out through this thick stuff and 15 to 20 yards in front of us is a bean field. So we've set up three different stand locations at uh, winds of south, southwest, and west so that hopefully we can have a couple of evenings where we can pop in here after work or early on a Saturday uh, afternoon and sit here until dark and hope we catch some deer coming out to feed in the afternoon and evening. I'm telling you what, man, it is so thick in there with these beans out in front of us. I think that you're going to have deer filtering down into this field. We should probably think about trying to get a camera on this field, even if we set it a ways away. Camp is set up. First day of scouting done. Oh. Eight stands is a good thing. Nine. Nine. Where's the ninth? There was six on the first one. Six? Yeah, because of that last one we found with that really heavy trail that tree right there real quick. I'm confused. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. So which that, property are you talking about first? The first one. The first one. Yep. The top of the clear cut. Yep. The creek. Yep. The one in between the creek that you found. Oh, yeah. Where we weren't going to put one and then when mm -hmm. we came we back said we did. We said you have to. Yep. Three. That heavy trail that's going up. Yep. Coming out of that clear cut. That's three. The creek. And then there was two more along there. You said so, the double oak up above. Oh, double oak up above. And then blind. right along that heavy trail. And then so there's five. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And then we found four up. And those four on that other property are all south, southwest, west, and they're all evening coming out into that bean field. So it's nice because we can both of us can go. And they're highways. Yep, and we can just stagger where we go. There's, you know, and you may not remember it. But we used to, to start the night out, we used to do Boone's Farm and Mad Dog 2020. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's how we used to start the night. And then it was the Matt's Premium Beer Ball. <laughs> Dude, and here it was, you had to have a beer ball pump because otherwise you took a knife and you were cutting the top of it open to get in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we better go take a shower. Yeah, I and think that's a good idea. Because it's 6.30. Okay, take a shower. Put some clean clothes on. Go eat some dinner. Fuck that. Well, morning two. Got up this morning. It was a bit chilly. Almost felt like a fall morning, which got us both kind of pumped up. Had my reveal tack to Cam sent me a picture of a big old buck waiting for me in Ohio. And we're off to continue checking an area that we've been on for two years now, trying to fine tune it the best we can. And uh, we think this is the best opportunity we have this year to go ahead and get our first archery buck in PA. So we're going to take a walk here this morning, and then have some lunch, and then take a canoe in this afternoon get some cameras in and uh, hopefully we see as much today good stuff as we did yesterday. 
we've got a section of public land that's in between the road and a river and there's ag crops on the other side but we knew coming in here that we were going to run into some real thick stuff so our goal this morning is to figure out how to get in here from the road see if we can find some major deer trails see if we can find some places that we can walk through without having the wild rose bushes prick the crap out of us so everything is so thick in here we were walking along the gas line old road there's this huge trail that comes down right here across this creek and out onto this point but the problem is is get these little pockets of open areas and then it's so thick you can't even walk through it so we're trying to find some major trails that head down through these woods and head out to the creek go across the other side to the uh, ag fields but man it's super super thick in here so just gonna have to put some boots on the ground see if we can figure it out if not we'll go to the other side and we'll work backwards okay we're cutting our losses We've walked this now for over a half mile and there's no way to get down in there without absolutely destroying our bodies with prickers. So we're gonna head back up to the truck and we're gonna rethink this game plan. A little bit super thick getting in out of there. No, no, it's beautiful. Hmm. Have some of this land that farmers can lease and put egg crafts on public land. Not very old, a year and a half old buck. Mm -hmm. He's either gonna bed there or he's gonna cross the creek and go to the bedding on the other side where we just were. Kurt is rocking his 2023 muck boots. Oh, baby, it's stylish. He's gonna get all the ladies with that look. Woo. Redneck fabulous right there. This is the opposite side of the creek from where we saw that creek crossing. We got this heavy trail coming down right there. It's been a hot day, baby. Cheers. I think he's polluting <laughs> waterway. Definitely looks like that's where they're crossing to head up into the farm fields over there. Lee and I finished up our second day. Didn't really have a solid day, but still found a couple of real good spots today. But we went back to the campground, sat down, had a drink, that's swam really in the creek, and then went and had an awesome dinner. So now this last hour before dark, we're out doing a little bit of scouting in some fields and uh, taking a look at some of these fields that butt up against public land. another buck that just came out and another buck that's coming out there's six bucks out right there keep an eye to the right every once in a while i'm looking to the left every once in a while yeah. I mean, there was 
thirteen dough and like twelve bucks tonight. You heard me say that twelve bucks. And now it just come out. Right on the edge of that scare feet. Successful two days for Lee and I down in PA doing some scouting. We looked at quite a few places that we had already been at, just double checked that we had tree stand locations for mobile setups ready to go. We found a couple of new spots and even got to sit in a bean field last night and watch about 30 deer come out in front of us, including probably about a dozen buck, three or four of them even nice shooters. So we're psyched to get back here in the fall and do some hunting. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, telling you out of a great day. See ya!